Today, you're transforming your spoken English by setting a scene from the movie Mission Impossible Fallout with me. We can't get enough of Tom Cruise, can we? He was in our first video in the series Top Gun Maverick as well. When you study the scene the way we're going to in this video, you'll be able to understand American movies and TV effortlessly without subtitles. The best part is, not only do you get to learn and study with the video, you get to train with the training section in this video so that you can start to make all of these reductions and so on a habit. And where did Sloan get this information? We're going to be doing this all summer, June through August. Stick with me every Tuesday. They're all great scenes and there's going to be so much to learn that can transform the way you speak and understand English. And as always, if you like this video or you learn something, please like and subscribe with notifications. You're going to watch the clip, then we're going to do a full pronunciation analysis together. This is going to help so much with your listening comprehension when it comes to watching English movies and TV. But there's going to be a training section. You're going to take what you've just learned and practice repeating it, doing a reduction, flapping a T, just like you learned in the analysis. Okay, here's the scene. And where did Sloan get this information? She didn't say. She did, however, grant me the opportunity to bring you in on the condition that I terminate this mission and hand over Solomon Lane personally. Sir, you can't do that. Hunt. No, I know Lane. And he has no intention of going back. That's why we're taking him back. Which means that's exactly what he wants us to do. And now the analysis. And where did Sloan get this information? And where, we have a little stress there on our question word. And where did Sloan get this information? I would say these two words have more of a scoop up because the intonation is going up. And where did Sloan get this information? And where did Sloan get this information? And where did Sloan get this information? This is not a yes-no question, and yes-no questions tend to go up in pitch, and other questions tend to go down. But in this particular case, and where did Sloan get this information? He's making it go up. And where did Sloan get this information? And where did Sloan get this information? And where did Sloan get this information? What about the word and? Does he say and? And where? 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 Definitely no D. The word sounds kind of like in, doesn't it? And where? And where? And where? And where did Sloan get this? And where, and where, and where did Sloan get this information? Get this? A stop T here. It's not released. That would be get this, get this, but it's get this, get this, get this, get. Stopping the air in my throat. My tongue is actually in position for the TH. Get this, and then when I'm ready to release, my tongue is already there. Get this, get this, get this. And everything is very smooth, isn't it? And where did Sloan get this information? 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 No skips in pitch. All smooth. Information. Four syllable word with third syllable stress. T I O N ending here is S H schwa. N, shun, shun. And where did Sloan get this information? This sin for ending S links right into the I. So it's almost as if this word is sinformation, sinformation. That's what linking does. Sinformation? Sinformation. 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 Sloan. Be careful there. That's O diphthong as in no followed by N. O, O. Make sure you do round your lips a little bit for that. O. If you don't make that rounding motion, it probably won't sound right. Sloan. And then the tongue lifts for the N. But before that, we really want the O diphthong to not have any nasal quality. Sloan. Sloan. We don't want that. The N comes separately. The nasal consonant is totally separate from the diphthong. Slow, slow. That's just like this word. Slow. 
And then you say an N. Slow, n, slow, n, Sloan, Sloan. Sloan, 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 get this information? She didn't say. She didn't, didn't, she didn't say. Most of our stress on the word say. His pitch is a little bit high here. She didn't say. She didn't say. They're in a tunnel. He's trying to be very clearly understood. She didn't say. She didn't say. She didn't say. She didn't say. It's a little bit higher than conversational pitch, I would say. In conversation, it would probably be more like, she didn't say. She didn't say. But instead, it's, she didn't say. She didn't say. She didn't say. She didn't say. What's happening with our N apostrophe T contraction here? She didn't say. 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 I'm hearing very quick D. I'm definitely hearing the N. I think the T is dropped. I'm hearing the N going right into the S. She didn't say. Didn't, didn't, didn't say. No feeling of a stop there. She didn't say. 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 Now, the whole time we're hearing this phrase, we're seeing this guy. He looks pretty guilty. I think it might have been him. She didn't say. She did, however. She did. She did. She did, however. A little break before the word however and after the word however. Just separating it a little bit from the rest of the sentence, making it its own little thought group. She did. 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 Did more stressed there. The D is not released. That would be did. Did. D, d, d. She did. She did. Tongue goes into position for the D. The vocal cords vibrate, but it's not released. She did. She did. She did. However. She did. However. She did. However. She did. However. 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 Middle syllable stress there. However. However, 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 grant me the opportunity to bring you in on the condition that I terminate this mission. Then we have a pretty long thought group. Grant me the opportunity to bring you in on the condition that I terminate this mission. Grant me the opportunity to bring you in on the condition that I terminate this mission. Grant me the opportunity to bring you in on the condition that I terminate this mission. Let's just look at the first part of this thought group. Grant me the opportunity. Grant me the opportunity. Grant me the opportunity. Grant me the opportunity. So he stresses me quite a bit. Grant me. Grant me. Now here, NT ending, it was dropped earlier, but here I'm hearing it as a stop. Grant me. Grant, grant, grant me. Grant me. Grant me. Grant me. Without a stop, it would sound like this. Grand me, grand me. I definitely don't hear that. I definitely hear a little stop, a little lift. To my ears, that makes a T sound. Native speakers hear these little stops as T's or P's or K's, depending on the word. Grant me, grant me, grant me the opportunity. Grant me the opportunity. Grant me the opportunity. Grant me the opportunity. Me with the E vowel. And then the word the with the E vowel. Now, the word the can either be the with E or it can be the with the schwa. The rule is when the next word begins with a vowel or diphthong, this pronunciation is E. However, I've noticed Americans don't actually follow that rule all that much, though he is here. The opportunity. Opportu. Grant me the opportunity. Grant me the opportunity. Grant me the opportunity. Stress on the third syllable of this five syllable word, opportunity, opportunity. As you practice that word, practice it right now and really feel that middle syllable stress. Da, 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 da. Like the whole word goes up to that and then comes away from that. Opportunity, opportunity. The opportunity, the opportunity, the opportunity. If you make that your focus, does it let you simplify the rest of the word? Maybe you also notice the T pronunciations. We have a true T here starting the stressed syllable. Uh, 
opportunity. Then we have a flap T because it's not starting a stress syllable and it comes between two vowel or diphthong sounds. Opportunity. 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 Opportunity to bring you in. Opportunity to bring you in. Uh, uh, bring you in. You and two unstressed bring and in. Stressed with that shape. Uh, uh. Now, how is the word to pronounce? Let's listen to opportunity to bring. Opportunity to bring. Opportunity to bring. Opportunity to bring. Opportunity to. Opportunity to. It's a flap, isn't it? It's a flap in the schwa. It's not to, it's ra, ra, ra. Opportunity to. Try that word just linking on to the word before. Opportunity to. Opportunity to. Opportunity to. Opportunity to. Opportunity to. Opportunity to bring you in. Opportunity to bring you in. Opportunity to bring you in. Opportunity to bring you in on the condition. Bring you in on the condition. Our next stress syllable is de condition. T I O N here. S H schwa N. Condition. Our stress syllable has the I vowel. And I want to point out C O N. That's kn. That first syllable has the schwa. And so we don't need to feel like there's any vowel in it because the N absorbs the schwa. So it's just kn. Kn. Condition. 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 Bring you in on the condition. Now, I want to talk a little bit about linking. We have the U diphthong, and then we have the I as in sit vowel in in. Now, when we have a word that ends in this sound, and the next word begins with a vowel or diphthong, it can sound like we connect them with the glide consonant W. So I'm going to cut it here with just the very end of this word linking into the word in, in on the condition, and listen to how it sounds like the it's win, win on the condition, because of the linking, win on the condition. Win on the condition, win on the condition, win on the condition. Do you hear that? I love that about linking. So smooth, one sound right into the next. No true definition often between words. Bring you in on the condition. That's when stress becomes so important. When we have the stress, that gives us our anchor rather than all these word separations. Bring you in on the condition. Bring you in on the condition. Bring you in on the condition. Bring you in on the condition that I terminate this mission. That I terminate, that I ter, stress syllable there, that I terminate this mission. 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 Pitch goes up because he's not done. He's going to put a break here, but his pitch going up shows that he's going to continue his thought. And because of that, the stressed syllable of me, rather than being up down, is more like down up. Mission. 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 That and I unstressed, they link together with a flap T. That I, that I, that I. That I, that, I, that I terminate this mission. That I terminate. This is a true T. Because just like an opportunity, it's a T starting a stressed syllable. Tunity. Terminate. Terminate this. Stop T at the end of terminate because the next word begins with a consonant. Terminate this mission. Terminate this mission. Terminate this mission. Terminate this mission. Mission, mission. Here, the double S, I O N, is the S H sound, schwa N. Mission, shin, shin. Mission, mission, mission. And hand over Solomon Lane personally. Our stress here, in hand over Solomon Lane personally. And hand over Solomon Lane personally. And hand over Solomon Lane personally. 
and hand over Solomon Lane personally. Hand, Saul, and Lane, per, are our most stressed syllables there. The word and, not fully pronounced. How does he pronounce it? Does it sound like in? And hand, and hand, and hand. Yeah, pretty much does, doesn't it? So it's not and, but it's in, 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 in. Unstressed, said very quickly. I would write that with a schwa n, but I know it helps people to think of it as being the word in, said very fast. In, 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 in handover. The D here, very light. In handover, handover. Links into the next word, which begins with the O diphthong. In handover, Solomon. So we have three O's here. But they have different pronunciations. The first one is the ah as in father. Sala. Then we have a schwa. Solomon. Then we have a schwa again. But when the schwa is followed by N, we don't really hear it. Mn, 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 mn. It's right from M into N. Mn, 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 mn. Solomon. 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 Solomon Lane. Solomon Lane. Solomon Lane. Solomon Lane, personally. Personally. Now, the vowel in that stressed syllable is the er vowel, which is like the r acting like a vowel per. So don't try to make a vowel between p and r. P er, per, per. Just give that r the shape and length of the vowel. Per, personally person. Here we have another schwa n, so it's not person, person, it's person. Person. Personally. 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 Sir, you can't do that. Okay, now his next sentence is all sort of lower in energy, a little bit quieter. Sir, you can't do that. Sir, ya. Sir, ya. Not much jaw drop there. It's not sir. It's sir, sir. Quiet, mysterious, intense. Sir, you can do that. Sir, you can't do that. Sir, you can't do that. Sir, you can't do that. You? I don't hear that as you. I hear that as you. Sir, you. Sir, you. Do you hear that reduction? Sir, 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 sir you can't do that. Sir, you can't do that. I'm hearing this as a stop T, certainly not released. Can't do, but can't do, can't do, can't do that. And then I do hear him actually releasing that T. So he doesn't make it a stop T, he releases it. Do that, that, that. Do that, do that, do that. Hunt. Hunt, hunt, hunt. Up, down, fully releases that clear, true T. Hunt, hunt. Hunt, hunt, hunt. No, oh, I know Lane. He puts a pause after Lane, breaking it up into its own thought group over here. What is the stress of these four words? Let's listen to the melody. No, oh, I know Lane. No, oh, I know Lane. No, oh, I know Lane. Da 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 da. No, I know Lane. No, I know Lane. No has stress. <laughs> the other word no has stress. These two words sound the same, don't they? N consonant, O diphthong. Even though they're two different words and they're spelled differently, they're homophones. They sound the same. No. No, I know. No, I know. No, I know. No, I know. The I diphthong. Just links really smoothly into here. No, why? When we link the O diphthong into a word that begins with a vowel or diphthong, it can feel like you're going through a W, Y, Y instead of I. No, why? No, no, I know Lane. No, I know Lane. No, I know Lane. No, I know Lane. Actually, he makes a little tiny bit of a lift here. No, I know Lane. No, I know Lane. No, I know Lane. But you can definitely, I think it's close enough, it's linked enough that you can think of this W to help you smooth that transition. We don't want, no, I, no, I, no, I. 
We don't want that kind of lift. No, I, no, I, no, I. No, I, no, I, no, I know Lane. And he has no intention of going back. And he has no intention. And he has no intention of going back. No and ten have our most stress there. And he has no intention of going back. And he has no intention of going back. And he has no intention of going back. What about our first three words here? And he has. How are those pronounced? And he has. And he has. And he has. All three of these words reduced. And becomes n n. He becomes e. As becomes is is. And he 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 is. You should be able to say that without moving your lips or your jaw at all. Your mouth should feel totally relaxed. And he is. And he is. And he is. And he is. It's flatter. It doesn't have the energy that no or ten. And he is no. And he is no. It's all really low and flat, building up to and he is no. That stressed syllable with the up down shape. And he is no. And he has no intention. 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 I O N ending here. If you look it up in the dictionary, it will say S H schwa n shin shin. But actually, when the S H sound comes right after an N, we put a T in it. And so then instead of S H, it becomes C H. Chin, chin, chin. Intention, intention. So ch instead of sh because of that n before. Intention, intention. The t in ten is a true t because it starts a stressed syllable. Intention. 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 Intention of going back. No intention of going of going back. A little bit of an up-down shape on those two syllables, go and back. The word of reduces of, 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 of going, of going back. Of going back, of going back, of going back. When you hear just of going back, it's really crazy how fast and almost not there that word of is. We reduce it, we make it so short to give the good contrast between unstressed and stressed syllables. Of going back. Of going back. Of going back. Of, 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 of going back. Of going back. It's crazy how different that is than going and back. It's not of, of going back. It's of, of, of going back. Of going back. When we reduce things like that, I think it helps us to connect things more. Of going back, of going back, of going back, of going back, of going back. And he does release the K sound. That's another stop consonant. And sometimes we don't release it at the end of a thought group, but he does here. Of going back, of going back, of going back, of going back. That's why we're taking him back. That's why we're, he's speaking with authority here with more volume. That's why we're taking him back. That has a little bit of up-down shape, but then I don't really hear the K sound at the end. Taking him back. That's why we're 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 taking. True T there and taking because it begins a stressed syllable. That's why we're taking him. The word him unstressed, he could have dropped the H. That is a common reduction, but I do still hear a light H, even though the word is unstressed. That's why we're taking him. That's why we're taking him. That's why we're taking him. You know what? I'm even going to give some stress to that's and why. That's why. Oh, sorry. That's and were. That's why we're take. That's why we're taking him back. By doing a little bit more of the length and a little bit more of the up-down shape on every word there, it really brings stress and authority to what he's saying. That's why we're taking him back. That's why we're taking him back. Which, that's why we're taking him back. Which, that's why we're taking him back. Which means that's exactly what he wants us to do. Okay, now Tom Cruise's character, 
really does the same thing. He stresses more words than normally. He puts in more gaps, breaks it into more thought groups so that he can stress the importance of what he's saying. Which means that's exactly what he wants us to do. Which means that's exactly what he wants us to do. Which means that's exactly what he wants us to do. Which means, which means, both of those have shape of stress, which means, and then he puts a little thought group in here, breaking it up, which means, uh, it's not, which means, which, 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 which means, where which would be unstressed, but it's which means, uh, which means, which means, which means, which means that's exactly what he wants us to do. That's exactly, and a little feeling of a stop of a break here, breaking up the thought group. That's exactly. And the stressed syllable here of exactly has a scoop up rather than up down because his pitch is going up. That's exactly. That's exactly. That's exactly. That's exactly. Let's talk about the word exactly. We have an unstressed syllable. It as in sit G. Then stressed syllable starts with Z. So G and Z are the two sounds that we get out of the letter X. It's interesting, the letter X makes two sounds and there's even considered a syllable break between them. Ig, 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 exactly. So then we have the A as in bat vowel, K, T, and then an unstressed syllable, L, Y. Exact. Exactly. Now, if we didn't have the L-Y ending, and I was just going to say the word exact, I would definitely kt, kt, make both of those sounds. But when the T comes between two consonants like this, it's very common to drop it, and that's what he does. Exactly. So no T sound at all. Exactly. Exactly. Let's listen to him do it. Exactly. 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 No T. Exactly. 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 Exactly what he wants us to do. What he wants. What he wants. We have a stop T. What he. Because the next word begins with a consonant. He didn't drop it. What he wants. What he wants. What he wants what he wants us to do. Wants us to do. Wants us to do. Lots of stressed words here. The word to, not stressed, does have a true T though. True T in schwa, us to do. So if the sound before the letter T in the word to is unvoiced, like here, S is an unvoiced sound, S, then the T will probably be a true T. Us to do. Wants us to do. Wants us to do. Wants us to do. Wants us to do. So even in a phrase here where the character is stressing every word, putting in more breaks to bring extra stress, even in that case, probably not going to fully pronounce two. It's just such a common, comfortable reduction in American English. It would sound a little strange. Wants us to do. It would just be a whole nother level of emphasis. Wants us to do. Still with the to reduction. Wants us to do. Wants us to do. Wants us to do. Okay, let's listen to this whole conversation one more time. And where did Sloan get this information? She didn't say. She did, however, grant me the opportunity to bring you in on the condition that I terminate this mission and hand over Solomon Lane personally. Sir, you can't do that. Hunt. No, I know Lane. And he has no intention of going back. That's why we're taking him back. Which means that's exactly what he wants us to do. Now for the fun part. You'll look at the notes we took together and you'll hear a part of the conversation on a loop three times. Then there's a space for you to repeat. For example, you'll hear this. Maybe so, sir. Maybe so, sir. Maybe so, sir. Then you'll repeat it. 
Maybe so, sir. Try to imitate everything about this exactly. So when you see this, then you'll repeat it. Maybe so, sir. That's from Top Gun Maverick, which was the first movie we studied in this summer series. You'll also have the opportunity to listen and repeat in slow motion. This will be important for you if you're more of a beginner or if you're having a hard time focusing on linking or the melody. Maybe you'll want to do it both ways, but the important thing is, here is your opportunity to take what you learned and put it into your body and your own habit. That's what's going to transform your speaking. You might do well to work with the audio section of this video every day for a week. Imitating the rhythm and the simplifications will get easier each time you do it. If you can't keep up with the native speaker, do the slow motion imitation. Okay, here's our audio training section. And where did Sloan get this information? And where did Sloan get this information? And where did Sloan get this information? She didn't say. She didn't say. She didn't say. She did, however. She did, however. She did, however. Grant me the opportunity to. Grant me the opportunity to. Grant me the opportunity to. Bring you. Bring you. Bring you. You win on the condition. You win on the condition. You win on the condition. And that I terminate this mission. And that I terminate this mission. And that I terminate this mission. And hand over Solomon Lane. And hand over Solomon Lane. And hand over Solomon Lane. Personally. 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 Sir, you can't do that. Sir, you can't do that. Sir, you can't do that. Hunt. 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 No, I know Lane. No, I know Lane. No, I know Lane. And he has no intention of going back. And he has no intention of going back. And he has no intention of going back. That's why we're taking him back. That's why we're taking him back. That's why we're taking him back. Which means, which means, which means. That's exactly, that's exactly, that's exactly what he wants us to do. What he wants us to do. What he wants us to do. And where did Sloan get this information? And where did Sloan get this information? And where did Sloan get this information? She didn't say. She didn't say. She didn't say. She did, however. She did, however, she did, however, grant me the opportunity to grant me the opportunity to grant me the opportunity to bring you, bring you, bring you. Win on the condition. Win on the condition. Win on the condition. And that I terminate this mission. And that I terminate this mission. And that I terminate this mission. And hand over Solomon Lane. And hand over Solomon Lane. And hand over Solomon Lane. Personally. 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 Sir, you can't do that. 
that. Hunt, hunt, hunt. Go oh, I know lane. Go oh, I know lane. Go oh, I know lane. And he has no intention of going back. And he has no intention of going back. And he has no intention of going back. That's why we're taking him back. That's why we're taking him back. That's why we're taking him back. With dreams, with dreams, with dreams. That's exactly, that's exactly, that's exactly what he wants us to do. What he wants us to do. What he wants us to do. And where did Sloan get this information? And where did Sloan get this information? And where did Sloan get this information? She didn't say. She didn't say. She didn't say. She did, however, grant me the opportunity to bring you. She did, however, grant me the opportunity to bring you. She did, however, grant me the opportunity to bring you. You win on the condition that I terminate this mission. You win on the condition that I terminate this mission. You win on the condition that I terminate this mission. And hand over Solomon Lane personally. And hand over Solomon Lane personally. And hand over Solomon Lane personally. Sir, you can't do that. Sir, you can't do that. Sir, you can't do that. Hunt. 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 No, I know Lane. And he has no intention of going back. No, I know Lane. And he has no intention of going back. No, I know Lane. And he has no intention of going back. That's why we're taking him back. That's why we're taking him back. That's why we're taking him back. Which means that's exactly what he wants us to do. Which means that's exactly what he wants us to do. Which means that's exactly what he wants us to do. Don't forget to come back and do this audio again tomorrow and the next day. You want to build habits here so you don't need to think about it so much when you're speaking in conversation. You can focus on the words and not the expression or pronunciation. Don't forget, this is part of a series all summer long. 13 videos, 13 scenes from movies. Check out each one, learn something new each time. I make new videos on the English language every Tuesday and I'd love to have you back here again. Please subscribe with notifications and continue your studies right now with this video. And if you loved this video, share it with a friend. That's it guys, and thanks so much for using Rachel's English.